How would you feel if you saw one of these in a playground? A bit freaked out, maybe? It's a robotic climbing frame that wanders around looking for kids to play with. This one is just a prototype. They could end up being even bigger. I arranged a meeting with the wandering robot and its inventor. How does it actually physically move and how does it know where to go? So it's made of these 12 extendable struts which can extend and retract to change the center of gravity of the structure. It has pressure sensors. You can inform it which way to move by, by squeezing one of these um, rubber balls. So it has inbuilt GPS, so you can define a boundary where the robot is not allowed to go. Now the point of this project is to get children used to interacting with robots, something arguably they'll need to do a lot more of as they grow up. But is this robot actually safe for children to play with? The movement is very, very slow, so you can anticipate which way the robot is about to move. Also, it has inbuilt sensors which will tell it if there is an obstacle in its way. So I weigh about 12 and a half stone. Let's say that's like two kids in the playground. Let me just see what it feels like if it takes my weight. There is a bit of give there. Is it, it's definitely strong enough, is it? Yep. Anything that isn't locked down or tied down gets nicked. Can this robot defend itself? So it has inbuilt GPS sensors like any contemporary mobile phones. So if you try to lift it up and take it outside of a designated boundary, it starts bleeping and making sound just like a burglar alarm. If somebody manages to take it off, you can trace where it's been and eventually find out who took it. So if you do come across one of these in a park in the near future, don't be too alarmed. It's probably just a friendly robot looking for someone to play with.